Hi everyone, this is Deb Tim, a Canadian girl. Welcome to my channel. This is a new edition of Deb's Musings. I just want to wish each and every one of you a fabulous summer. And we're going to take a little tour around my property and you'll see what I've been up to. So please stay tuned. Welcome to my home. This house was built in 1920, so it's almost a hundred years old. We've been here for 12 years now. Our last home was even older. Something about the charm of a century home is very attractive to both of us. We live in a small community. Our village has a population of 1,600 people. One of those, there are no secrets in this town places. Everyone knows everyone and everyone's business too. Hubby and I believe in improving the world. One big way we do this is by planting trees. Now these two trees at the end of the driveway are getting old and dying. They should be cut down in the next few years. They both have hollows in them where critters are making their homes. Just a couple weeks ago, a hubby and our neighbor pulled three adorable baby raccoons from this one tree. They were so little and sweet. I didn't even get a picture of them. We found a rescue that took them within a couple hours of finding them. But those two big trees are on city property, which is determined by measuring 30 feet from the center of the street. It's their responsibility to remove them. We have already planted these replacements. This little tree we planted here just last year, and the taller one, that was planted when we moved in 12 years ago. And this is my favorite part of our home, my front porch. And of course, here's Ozzy, my sidekick. I've never owned a home that didn't have a large front porch. Check out my jade plants. They spend the summers out here and they flourish. Just the perfect amount of sun and shade. Many of my house plants spend the summers outside. Up here's another one of my big spider plants. Look at all the maple keys. I try to sweep them up a couple times a week, although you wouldn't believe it. This is like a little drop-in center. When I'm out here, often a neighbor will stop by, or even some of the kids will just stop by for a chat. My Mother's Day hanging baskets always get these two spots here, and then um, there's another one of my large spider plants. They really do well outside in the warm weather. So, as you can see, this is a very quiet neighborhood. Entering the backyard, we'll begin with my garden. So, the first row here are sweet peppers. There are red, yellow, orange, and green. And then we have tomatoes. I'm not sure what kind these are. Hubby did the garden this year, but there are tons of flowers on them, so I'm sure we'll be enjoying tomatoes soon enough. Next is leaf lettuce, and lettuce is something we eat like rabbits, so I always leave an extra uh, row open for another batch of lettuce. Then I have two zucchini plants, which is my favorite summer vegetable, and then we finish off with three Purpless cucumbers. The garden box is 16 feet by 8 feet. So this here is my peonies garden. When we moved in, there was an ugly, gnarly fruit tree here with lots of black mold on it. It was gross and hubby cut it down for me, but then the stump was left and I hated that stump. So hubby built me this box and I moved all the peonies I could find into this box. Most of them came from hubby's father's place when he moved. No one would ever know there's an ugly stump under there. The peonies are red, pink, and white. 
white being my favorite. So down the side of the property, you can see the shrubs we planted. And then hubby planted this little cluster of six trees um, only a couple weeks ago. The pot that they wintered in by the pond was broken. So rather than put them in another pot, he decided to plant them directly in the ground. Now, because they're young and fairly weak, he planted them in a cluster like this so that they would support each other. Once they're bigger, and actually in the fall when they go dormant, Hubby will separate them and then find other places to put them. Now, this tree here is from our niece's home. She didn't want it, so Hubby would never say no to a tree. So he dug it up and brought it home. Now it does look like it has two, that it's two trees, but it doesn't. It joins under the ground into a nice, healthy root system. It's not very nice looking though. Then we have our fire pit. The rim is a form from a mill for making pellet foods. There you can see our horseshoe pits. We haven't even used them yet this year. And then across the back, we have three trees that we planted from seeds. They started off in a little pot like that group of six. And then across the yard is the second horseshoe pit and my green garden. I love the green gardens. They are just so easy to manage. Really, the only work they take is the initial job in the spring where you clean up the old dead stuff and pull any weeds and then you let it go and it just oh my bird bath is pretty poor looking but these plants really do a great job and they don't require any work at the moment, this is a mess. It is holding all the cuttings off the trees hubby was trimming this spring. This was our second garden where we planted melons, spaghetti squash, and such. I even had a strawberry patch growing here. But I found we didn't eat enough to bother with it. Somehow, this happened. This box is the same size as the other garden. It's 16 feet long by eight feet wide. I have some awesome ideas for this spot though. Just imagine a big, beautiful pond on this spot. I will be adding another pond to the yard right here. Hubby has already given me the go-ahead, but he said I have to hire somebody to dig it out for me. Well, I have lots of farm friends who have cats and backhoes, so I'm sure I can convince one of them to come over and give me a hand. This will take some time, but I'm excited. It is definitely going to be a lot of hard work and, of course, money. But my goal is to have it finished next year. Along the back of the deck here is where my gladiolas grow. Then around this corner, I planted wisteria. Wisteria are my absolute favorite flowers. These plants are hardy and have no problem weathering our Canadian winters. They will grow to cover the entire side of the deck. Wisteria can grow over 20 feet high. You would not believe how fragrant these blossoms are just standing this close to them. They are huge clusters of bloom, similar to lilacs, but they droop. And that's my rhubarb patch, which has already been picked a couple times. I've made rhubarb crumble, a summer favorite of ours. And then this is my gooseberry bush, which is not looking too good. I will have to do something about the bugs that are eating him. And finally, my little pond. I have completely changed the look. 
I had some problems with the pond. The de-icer died during the worst weeks of the winter and all my fish froze. It was heartbreaking, but there was nothing I could do until spring. Wow, what a job and stink. Wow. So hubby got me some of these um, solar flowers and even some solar lightning bugs. All the plants are perennials except in the pots. I do need to add some more black beauty mulch and hubby still has to plant the grass seed around the perimeter, but it's coming along. I love this moss. I'm hoping that it spreads and grows over the rim of the pond. And then on the fence here are my little lightning bugs, my solar ones. They're so cute, they twinkle. You know, I didn't really want to put a fence around it, but I did that for Ozzy. He seems to think the pond is his water bowl and just goes stomping through my plants. I also love the canna lilies and hope I can keep them over the winter. I don't know how much um, they can take over the winter. I think you have to dry them out. I'll have to look into that. So that completes my tour of our yard and home with lots of room for more water features. Oh, it's going to look good with my big pond on that side. And then, of course, my sidekick, Ozzy, is never far away. You know, it's no wonder we're so busy this time of year. I wish you all a fantastic summer. So until next time, this is Deb Tim signing out. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you had a wonderful day. I wish you a wonderful summer with beautiful weather and lots of fun times and activities for your families. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.